Oh Lord, pull up in that 04 pedal to the metal, says she want to hit the floor more. Wow. I guess great minds really do think alike, at least on this YouTube channel. You know, Atlanta Sports Unlimited. You got Bird Talk with Terrence Mathis. You remember Terrence Mathis? The, this tremendous wide receiver for the Atlanta Falcons back in the day. Spent like a dozen years in, in the NFL altogether. Former Pro Bowl wide receiver. And here's the other thing. Just recently, College Football Hall of Famer. Yeah, that Terrence Mathis. He's one of us. Now, Terrence Mathis thinks like me, or I think like Terrence Mathis, in saying that the number eight overall pick in the NFL draft in less than a couple of weeks, Atlanta Falcons got that number eight pick overall, and they should use it on Nolan Smith at the University of Georgia, which means they're not going to do it. But anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. Subscribe to what I just said, Atlanta Sports Unlimited, okay? And not only that, I'm pointing over here because on your screen, okay? We're sponsored by Prize Picks. That's that's the code right there. Put it put in ASU as in Atlanta Sports Unlimited for the chance to win big time. You know, this great fantasy game, two to five players go over or under, and you will be highly satisfied. We're also uh, promoting this right here, my book, Hank Aaron, the real Hank Aaron. And right now you can get it for $25 signed right here at this website twenty dollars if you just want the book now uh, let's go back to this this number eight draft pick overall uh you know the the falcons are kind of getting all these defensive players everybody's kind of like saying oh this is great but you know what uh, these falcons as far as management is concerned they're doing what the falcons generally have done in the past they get a lot of names that sound good like yesterday okay I mean, just recently they got uh, Calais Campbell. All right, Calais Campbell was a, a wonderful defensive lineman. I, I say was because, I mean, this coming season, he's going to be 37, the oldest defensive lineman in the National Football League. So, I mean, he could, uh, I mean, I'm just saying. All right, uh, who has they picked up? Oh, they, just in the last few days, they got uh, Bud Dupree. You remember D Bud Dupree? Bud Dupree, another uh, lineman. Bud, to pr Bud Dupree was a first-round draft pick of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wait for it. Eight. Eight years ago. The last three years, he's been very injury-prone. But, I mean, he could turn low. I mean, he could do, maybe. I mean, Campbell could do something. I mean, yeah, they, they've always. But anyway. But we know what Nolan Smith can do. This dude was fantastic at the University of Georgia, helping them to two national championships. Now, of course, last year in November, he was injured, didn't play the rest of the season on that march to that national championship, but he did considerably enough before that to build the foundation there. He had, had a pectoral muscle pull, but he's, he's healthy now. How do we know he's healthy? Well, because in the NFL Combine this past, uh, well, spring, he did the phenomenal twice. First of all, he ran the 40-yard dash in 4.39 seconds. The vertical jump. He did the vertical, vertical jump 41.5. How phenomenal is that? I'm going to tell you. Never in the history of the NFL Combine does somebody that size of 239 pounds run that fast and jump that high ever except for Nolan Smith. Okay, he also finished third in the broad jump among those uh, those linemen too. But I mean, the guy and he could play. He's pretty good. I mean, he get to the to to the quarterback, and he's a leader. He's he's got charisma, very charismatic. Here's the other thing about him. You know what his major was at University of Georgia? It wasn't football, like you know, like a lot of players. His major was mathematics. He's got a brain. Get him. Yeah, he's also from Savannah, Georgia, so he's, he's kind of a local kid. Well, just the fact he went to the University of Georgia, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, it's a no, the the way the Falcons' defense has been forever, they can't get enough defensive players. Even if Campbell and Dupree and the rest of these guys, even if they pan out, you're getting you, you know you, you're not losing anything. But then again, I mean, this is the same set of management people who two years ago used the number four pick overall in the NFL draft 
to get a tight end instead of a franchise quarterback from Kennesaw, Georgia. So, just saying. This is my falsetto wicked potion with the slow pour. This is my addiction, make me want to go for more. Pale 